This video will walk you through how to assign and grade assessments in your open learning course. There are multiple ways to assign assessments from within your course. One option is to select a module or lesson from the table of contents on the course page. You will be able to find the assessments that correspond to that selection under the Review and Assess or Reflect and Practice blade. To assign the assessment, click on the Assign button on the resource pile. Another option would be to go to the Resources page and use the search and filters available to find the assessment you want to assign. Such as that on the course page, click the Assign button on the Assessment resource tile to assign the assessment. Then there is the option of assigning an assessment under the Assignments page. Click on Online Questions from under the New Assignment button. Finally, you can assign an assessment from the Assessments page within the course. When assigning from the Assignments or Assessments pages, you will want to select the folder where the assessment is located. Any assessments you made custom or edits to will be located under the My Assessments folder. All McGraw-Hill created assessments will be located under the Practice and Test Pane folders. Any assessments that were shared with you from another teacher will be located under the Copies Received folder, while any shared with you by an admin will be found under any folders listed as Organization under the Owner column. To the right of the assessment you want to assign, click on the kebab menu and select Assign from the menu. Keep in mind you cannot make edits from this screen. If you would like to make edits to an assessment before assigning it, please refer to the Open Learning Platform Edit Assessment and Assessment Management resources that are listed below. Enter a title for the assessment if you would like it to reflect differently from the default. Click the Student Preview button to view the assessment as a student would see it. Click the Continue button to move to the next phase of assigning the assessment. On the Settings page, select the Start, End Date, and Time by clicking on the calendar icon to the right of each field. Click Apply on the pop-up after selecting and entering the desired date and time. If you would like the students to be able to submit the assessment later than the selected date and time, check the box next to Allow Late Submission. Under Time Limit, if you do not want it to be set to Unlimited, click on the drop-down to select 30, 60, 90 minutes, or 2 or 5 hours. If you do not want the students to see the assessment listed on their assignment list, select the hidden radio button under Assignment Visibility. You will need to edit the assignment and select Visible once you want the students to have access to the assessment. The gradebook category will default to Assignments. To have the assessment show under a different category, click on the drop-down menu. To add additional gradebook categories, refer to the Open Learning Platform Gradebook Resources listed below. All students rostered in the class will be selected as default. To assign the assessment to specific students, click the pencil icon under Select Students to choose which individual students to assign the assessment to. Click the Apply button to save the changes. The class attempts will default to one attempt with an option of changing it to two or three attempts. If you select to have more than one attempt at completing the assessment, you also have the option of selecting a grade calculation option of best, first, or last score. To allow certain students to have an additional attempt of completing the assessment, click the pencil icon under Individual Attempts. Select the students from the pop-up and then click Apply to save. If you would like to provide some students with an extension past the selected end date, click the Add Extension button. In the pop-up, select the students from the provided roster. Then select the date and time you would like the students to have until to complete the assessment. Click the Add Extension button on the pop-up to save. To also add the assessment assignment to your Google Classroom class, check the box next to Share with Google Classroom under Share. For more information on pairing your Google Classroom class with your Open Learning account, refer to the Google Classroom resources below. For Student Score Sheet Access, it will default to allowing students to see their scores after completing their assessment, but not the answers. Click the drop-down under Student Score Sheet to select a different option if desired, such as not allowing access at all to their score sheet, being able to view the entire score sheet after completing the assessment, allow them to not view their score sheets until after the assessment closes, or to view them on a specific date you select. The default setting for explanations is set that students are not able to view them. Click the drop-down to change them to students may view them or only after they score 100% on the assessment. If you would like for students to view answer reasonings for the questions on their score sheet, 
check the box under Answer Reason. If you would like to make changes to the student settings, you will need to first edit the assessment and then assign the edited copy of the assessment. Click the Assign button to assign the assessment. The assigned assessment can then be found under the Assignments page of the course. For more information on managing assignments, refer to the Open Learning Platform Assignment Management Resources listed below. Now let's go over scoring an assessment. If an assessment contains essay questions, short answer, audio recording, file upload, or drawing questions, the assessment will require manual grading. All other questions are auto-scored by the system. For more information about the different question types that require scoring, refer to the MHSF question types article listed below. Click the View Score Sheet link under Student Work to open the completed student assessment. On the Assessment Score Sheet page, scroll through the questions to locate the ones that need to be manually scored, or click on the pending link above the list of questions to view only those that need to be manually scored. In the Points field, enter the number of points you want to score for each of the pending questions. The score will auto-save once entered. Enter comments for each question, if desired, for students to be able to see. Click the View Example Response button to open the Example Response box below the Correct Answers section. Use the navigation arrows at the bottom to navigate back and forth between the questions, or use the question bar and links at the top. To navigate between student score sheets, use the navigation arrows or the student name dropdown. For students that do not click Submit, as a teacher, you can submit the assessment for the student by clicking on the Submit Assignment button at the top right of the question row. Click the Download button at the top right of the score sheet to export the student score sheet that you are currently viewing. Click View My File Exports from the menu to open the list of score sheets you have selected to download. Click the Download button on the My Downloads pop-up to export the score sheet to your device. Click the Close button to exit out of the score sheet view. This concludes our look at assigning and grading assessments for an open learning course. Be sure to look at the other available help materials for more information about using your open learning programs.